So if I call these equations A, B, and C. First thing we have to choose is what method we're going to use to solve them. Substitution or elimination? Now for this one, if you look at the variables, equation B would be easy to solve for Y, so if you wanted to use elimination, that would work. I tend to lean, or not elimination, substitution, that would work. You'd solve equation B for Y and put that in the other equations for Y. I tend to lean towards elimination because to me it's simpler. So if I were going to use elimination with this one, where would I start? <clears throat> Anybody? Okay, well, yeah, a y would be fairly easy to get rid of. I could do a plus c, a plus c. 2y and negative 2y is going to cancel out. So I have 3x and 2x makes 5x. 2y and negative 2y cancels out. 3z and 5z make... 8z, 4 and negative 11 makes negative 7. So there is the first of my two variable equations. Remember the goal is to take it from three variables down to two variables, and then from two variables down to one. Now I haven't used equation B yet, so I have to use equation B here somehow. But I also have to eliminate Y, because that's what I eliminated in the first equation here. To eliminate uh, y in equation b, I'm going to multiply equation b times 2. So it's going to be a negative 4x plus 2y minus 4z equals 18. My cable's loose as well. I just tightened it up a little bit with my laptop. Yep. So now I'm going to have 2b plus c. I'm going to add this to this. So we've got negative 4x and 2x makes negative 2x. 2y and negative 2y is 0. It cancels out. Negative 4z and 5z is just 1z or just z. 18 and negative 11 is 7. <clears throat> so I now have two equations, two variables. And I need to get rid of one of those variables. I am going to go ahead and multiply this bottom equation by a negative 8. I multiply by negative 8. This is going to be a negative 16x. So positive 16x. Minus 8. And a negative 56. Everybody, any questions so far? Do you see where this equation here came from? See what confused Richard? Right here. So I've got 5x and 16x is 21x. 8z, negative 8z is gone. Equals negative 7 and negative 56 is a negative 63. So we can divide by 21. x is negative 3. We now have x. We now need z. I can go back to either one of these two equations to find z. Why do I say I need z instead of y? I'm going to need y. It's just my equation was x and z, so I have to find z next. I'm going to use the bottom one there. Negative 2 times x becomes negative 3 plus z equals 7. Negative 2 times negative 3 is a positive 6 plus z equals 7. And we subtract 6. Is one. Now that I have x is negative 3 and z is 1, I can go back up here. I'm going to take this one here. 3 times negative 3 is x plus 2y plus 3 times z is 1 equals 4. So this is negative 9 plus 2y plus 3 equals 4. I'm going to drop this down. Negative 9 and 3 makes negative 6 plus 2y equals 4. Adding 6. 2y equals 10. Divide by 2. That equals 5. 
So we had x is negative 3, y is 5, z is 1. What do you think? The key is to just work back through. Once you get once you get the first variable, you got x is 3. You go back to the last equations you were working with, which is these two here. Right? Those two equations have x, which we now know, and z. So we can find z, because you only have one unknown. And that's the key to algebra, is you can only work with one unknown. If we tried to go back up here with x, or we're missing both y and z. It doesn't work. We have two things we don't know. So that's why we come to these equations, because once we replace x, there's only one thing we don't know, and that's z. I could use either one of those two. And they'd be fine. On your worksheet, how'd you guys do? Anybody get all eight of them done? First one. I asked the worksheet. What's that? You got the first one? What did you get for an answer for the first one? One, two, three. One, two, three? Everybody get that? Yeah, Nobody else got it, right? You want to do it for us? Here you go. I'll, uh, there you go. Go for it. So, thanks, Richard. That was perfect. So now, number two. Oh, he did a great job. For this one now, trying to find, first of all, what method we want to use is our first step always. This one looks like it actually worked relatively well to do elimination. Um, either Y or Z would work well. I'm going to choose to eliminate Z first. So I'm going to do equation B plus C first, because the negative 2z and positive 2z. So x and 4x is 5x. Does everybody see what I'm doing here, or do you want me to write it off to the side and add them? Is everybody okay with me doing them like this? We're good? Negative 2y and y is a negative y. Negative 2z and positive 2z cancels out. 6 and 7 makes 13. <clears throat> now I need to use equation A. But there's nothing that will cancel out. I mean, I still have to cancel out z. But I have a negative 1 and a positive 2. So if I do 2 times a, which will be 6x plus 2y minus 2z equals 4. i got to remember to multiply that number as well. And I add that to equation c. the z will disappear. So 6 and 4 makes 10x. 2 and 1 makes 3y. Negative 2z and positive 2z cancels out. Equals 4 and 7 make 11. Questions so far? Everybody doing okay with this now at this point? Okay, what I'm looking for is variables that will cancel out. Like negative 2 and positive 2z. That's going to make 0. So that's why I chose to add b and c. And you want to use the c first? Not really, no. Just because those two cancel out. So I did b and c. Now, because I did that, though, because I canceled out z, the next step, I have to go back to the equation that I have not used yet, which is A. So I have to use equation A in the second step. But I can use either of the other two again. But I still have to cancel out the Z. So if I canceled out the Z the first time, I have to cancel out the Z again. So that's a negative 1Z. So I want to look for something that's positive, which is the positive 2Z. So now I've got to turn that negative 1 into a negative 2, so it'll cancel out a positive 2. So that's why I multiplied it by 2 over here. So now I've got negative 2z, positive 2z. So that's why I added it with the c. You'll notice I used c twice here. I used it in both of them. 
That's because these are both negative and z is positive. And c and c the z is positive. So a negative and a positive cancel out. So as you're looking for combinations. Now I could have also canceled out the y, and it would have been relatively easy to do that. Except here I've got a negative 2y and a positive 1 and a positive 1. So I'd have had, I would have had to multiply equation a by 2 to get 2y and negative 2y. You see what I'm saying? Then I would have had to multiply equation c by 2 to have 2y and negative 2y. So basically what I'm doing is I'm picking one equation. And what I, the way I did it here, I basically picked equation c. And I used it to eliminate the variable in both of the others. I used it here to eliminate this z. And I used it again to eliminate that z. Does that make sense? Then once we're down to two variables and two equations here, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this top one by 3. Because I've got a positive 3y here, I'm going to make that a negative 3y. So this will be 15x minus 3y equals 39. Everybody understand where this came from here? Any questions? Okay, so now I'm going to combine that. My other equation, I'm just going to leave the same. So 25x, the y's cancel out. That's the line on x, equals 50. And divide by 25. x equals 2. Once I know that x equals 2, I can go back, put in 2 for x, and either one of these, I'll put it in here. So 10 times 2 plus 3y equals 11. 10 times 2 is 20. Plus 3y equals 11. So subtract 20. 3y equals negative 9, divided by 3. <coughs> y equals negative 3. So, so far I've got 2, negative 3. I still need z. So I go back to any one of the original equations. I'm going to go back to that third one, equation c, because it's positive. So I've got 4x becomes 4 times 2. Plus y, so that's going to be plus a negative 3. Plus 2z equals 7. So 4 times 2 is 8, plus negative 3, plus 2z equals 7. 8 plus negative 3 is a 5, plus 2z equals 7, subtract 5. 2z equals 2, and divide by 2. Equals 1. Two negative three one. Can you plug that y into the third equation? Yep. Okay, and which equation is that? Okay, so remember you're going back through. Once you get the first variable, once you have a number for one of the variables, you're going backwards through. Okay. So I got y equals yeah, I got y equals or sorry, over here I got x equals two. That was the first one I got. Then I go back to the next stage with these two equations. So I put x in for either one of those to find y. Once I have two variables, and then I go all the way back to the beginning. Any one of these first three, then. I plug it in. So the first variable I eliminated is going to be the last variable I find the number for. I eliminated z first. So that's going to be the last variable I find. That's going to be the third of my three that I find the value for. What do you think? Yeah. For tomorrow, I do want you to finish this worksheet. Tomorrow, there will be a quiz. Okay? Yes, no more than three equations. Make it one, make it a five by five.